but first tonight, a violent carjacking, all caught on camera. Good evening, I'm Cherie Palello. And thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Dardis. Newport police are searching now for a mentally disabled man who was still inside that vehicle that you just saw when the suspect with a gun took off. WLWT News source Jackie Conjado is leading the way for us live right now. Jackie, witnesses tried, it looks like from that video, several times to stop this guy. Mike and Cherie, this all began back here at 215 outside the Remke. We're told that there was a man who was shoplifting cigarettes, ran outside, and then was Followed by loss prevention folks into the parking lot here where the Chipotle and the T Mobile are, carjacked a man in a van, pulled that driver out at gunpoint. It was all caught on camera. Take a look. Unlock the door. Open the door. Unlock the door. Get out. Hey, that's carjacking for you. So again, the person who shot that video is actually the manager here at the T-Mobile store. He was unaware at the time what was going on after the fact, found out that this was in fact a carjacking and that the man who was carjacked, his 51-year-old son with mental disabilities was in the back seat. Take a listen to what he had to say. I can't even imagine, that, especially being the father, knowing that somebody's driving around with, with your son. I mean, I have kids. I can imagine, you know, my kids being in my car while someone else is driving off in it. It's terrifying. So again, the man in the back seat, the victim in this carjacking is 51-year-old Clifford Dragoo. According to police, we're told he is wearing a camo hat, a gray fleece and jeans, and that he has the mental capacity of a 12-year-old. Now, at this time, police are actively searching for that van. As you saw in the video, it's a 2006 black Chrysler Town & Country license plate, Kentucky temporary tags, 773-774. Four, two. Police say they've gotten at least one tip, someone who thought they had a partial tag, but it turned up nothing. Uh, they are reviewing some fingerprints that they were able to get off of the allegedly stolen cigarette cartons. They're trying to match that with the suspect, but so far, no luck there. We will, of course, be back with you if anything develops. Back to you. All right, Jack.